Welcome to the channel. My name is Sammy Fryer, licensed real estate agent in the state of South Carolina. And what my approach is on this channel is to bring you the real practical information that would actually be relevant to your day-to-day -day life and experience, whether that's the purely real estate centric stuff that we do on this channel or the day-to-day -day life stuff in our area. And so today we have something that probably can't be much more practical. These are the top five places that we shop. These are literally the five places that we shop as a household. And so I'm certain for some of y'all out there, you will find that valuable. And so with that being said, let's jump right into it. So number one on our list is Harris Teeter. Harris Teeter is found right there at Five Points, basically right in the middle of the city of Florence. But for us, this is where we do all of our foundational shopping. So this is where we go to get our fruits and vegetables. This is where we go to get our milk, our eggs, butter, majority of our snacks, cheese, all of our fundamental stuff comes from Harris Teeter. A couple things I'll tell you about Harris Teeter is one, we are big fans of their Simple Truth Organic brand. That's their store brand. We buy their store brand cheese. We buy their store brand ghee. There's a handful of those store brand products that we buy. Another thing about Harris Teeter is out of the grocery store options in Florence, pound for pound, they have the most options in terms of what you would call healthier options. So we get our organic vegetables from Harris Teeter. They cater a little bit more to the health conscious community than some of the other grocery stores. I would even go as far as to say it's probably the highest end grocery store that we have in Florence. I think it's safe to say it that way. I would love for us to have a Publix or a Whole Foods in Florence. There's a lot of rumblings over many recent years about a Publix coming. That remains to be seen. We don't have a Publix. It's possible we may never have a Whole Foods. Harris Teeter probably is the closest thing that you're going to get, at least for now. So this is where we do all of our fundamental shopping. I recommend that you sign up for their Vic card. That's how you're going to catch a lot of the sales they do. We always take advantage of those. Also, they have their fuel rewards system where you gain points each time you shop there. You can save up to a dollar per gallon of gas. We take advantage of that. We've been taking advantage of that for years. So I highly recommend that. They also have a gas station now right there on site, which is relatively new. The gas station's only been there about a year or so. For a lot of people, that's going to be a great option. And again, in comparison to a lot of the other grocery stores in town, they're going to have a lot of your higher end items, a bigger selection of some of your more higher end options and different food items. Harris Teeter also has a really good baby food selection. They also have a pretty large and a pretty decent bakery slash deli. And they're at the deli bakery area. Harris Teeter also has pretty good fried chicken. So sometimes we'll grab a bucket of fried chicken from Harris Teeter as well. They also have the sushi, which we did a previous video on on this channel that for a grocery store is not that bad. They do have fresh bread from the bakery other baked goods of course we do try to keep an eye out for the meats that they have on sale again with your vic card you'll be able to take advantage of those it's a really nice size grocery store it's pretty large one of the larger stores in florence and they even have a humidor that is kept up pretty well so our main grocery store is harris teeter but there are a few other places that we go for different reasons so next on our list is the walmart florence market now I can say we only go unless there's some random circumstance. But as a rule, we only go to the Walmart Florence Market for two things. One is their chicken thighs and chicken breasts. So they have this brand of free range, no hormones, no antibiotics, all that stuff, chicken that we buy from there. It's already cheaper. It's a cheaper option than other stores that we've found. But also sometimes you can even catch it on sale. So we go there strictly for that and for this seasoning which if you're gonna make any type of Cajun dish, I would just say you need to keep a can of this in the pantry. Next on the list is Food Line. Food Line has essentially taken over Florence, it appears. This Food Line is the one that's on Palmetto Street going out towards Timminsville, but there are multiple Food Lines in town currently. Now Food Line is a good backup option to Harris Teeter for us. Food Line being a little bit closer to home, it would be our Plan B grocery store for any items. They would be comparable to Harris Teeter, but on a smaller scale, less options, and certainly less options when it comes to the higher end stuff and the very health conscious stuff. So their organic selection would be lesser. I normally would get my tortilla chips for $2 using the Simple Truth organic brand at Harris Teeter. However, the Food Line brand chips are a good backup option. That's a great example as you can see those there. Plus, and I've mentioned before on this channel, we make a lot of salsa at the house. If I'm going to make tomatillo, a lot of times I may just stop at Food Line instead of going over to Harris Teeter if I wasn't already prepared because it's a little bit closer to the house and they have everything I need right there for the most part. Although I would prefer to get my cilantro from Harris Teeter. But I digress. We have a larger family. An easier meal to make is when you use a rotisserie chicken. A lot of times I will stop by Food Line and grab one of their rotisserie chickens. They're pretty good and obviously cheap and y'all know that that's a quick, easy meal. A lot of times you can do a lot of things 
with a rotisserie chicken. So I will grab those from Food Line also. Food Line for us is a great secondary option. Again, make sure that you've got your MVP card there so that you can take advantage of the sales. And we do frequently catch meat on sale at Food Line also, making it a good backup option or just second option for us to shop. There also are a couple of items like the ghee, different items sometimes that I found at different times that are a little bit cheaper at Food Line and we would say are one for one comparable. So we may even choose select items from Food Line over Harris Teeter, but usually not to the point that we're making a special trip. I would also say if I'm going to make a quick run for some snacks, like say it's halftime of a football game or something like that, I'm more likely to stop at Food Line and to take the extra travel distance to Harris Teeter because I'm on a tight schedule. And I wouldn't do that if I didn't think that Food Line was a good comparable option. So again, our second option for general grocery shopping is Food Line. Now next on the list is SC Real Foods. Now SC Real Foods is a place to be featured multiple times on this channel, particularly with the Peckaway Cafe, which is a restaurant inside the building, but they also have a grocery store. There are a few specialty items that we will get from SC Real Foods. One being my wife actually likes these bath sauce. They're from the Dead Sea. She says the only place that she could find them is at SC Real Foods. She buys those there. Sometimes we'll pick up random snacks that are there. They'll bring in new stuff that'll catch our attention of interest. I'm always susceptible. Sometimes I'm able to stay away, but a lot of times I fall victim to the chocolate stash that they've got right there by the cash register. I'll pick up a couple of marshmallow covered chocolates or something like that. You can get a big bag of organic cane sugar, that kind of thing. Very health conscious, health centric items in SC Real Food. Quality, you know, higher quality products and food items there in their grocery grocery store, but also a big thing that they have that separates them from a lot of other places is their ready to go meals. So they have pre-prepped meals that you can pick up and you can see they have a wide variety and these can be super convenient and are really good. So on my lunch break, Sometimes I, that would be the option that I would pick up, would go by and grab that. It was something easy I could heat up in the toaster oven at the office. And it was something that I would take advantage of, but a lot of people take advantage of. So like the lemon dill salmon is really good. There's just not really a place like it that you could get ready to go meals that are prepackaged that are already ready to heat up and eat right there. And they have a large counter with a lot of different items when it comes to their pre-prepped meals. We do frequently keep a bottle of the Uncle Jim's honey. That's locally sourced honey that they have at SC Real Foods. And there's just overall some really good options and items there that you're not gonna find anywhere else. Now, last on our list, and then I have two honorable mentions. And mind you, this isn't a ranking. These are just places that we shop for different reasons because this next store is a fantastic place to grab a variety of items. And that is the Healthy Food Store right across from Ace Hardware on Elijah Lood Road or going out towards North Cashwell. The healthy food store is where I get my live cola. The healthy food store has a wide option of various health conscious beverage items, sodas, that kind of thing. We also get our dish soap from there. Um, our hand soap comes from the healthy food store, our dish detergent. We also purchase clean parchment paper there. I think we've bought the cheesecloth a couple of times in the past that we needed for various recipes. They have Garden of Life products there, which my wife is a big fan of. So she picks up some of those things. So we've been known to get some of our hygiene items also from Healthy Food Store from time to time. So Healthy Food Store just has a lot of really good options for you or the kids or the baby. They also have candies that you can have at least a little bit better clear conscious about eating. They've got the organic dried beans in the back and the nuts. We buy protein powder and collagen from there uh, at different times whenever we need that in the house. And from what I understand, they're the only people locally that offer raw milk. So we've been able to buy raw milk and goat's milk from the healthy food store. Those frontier spices, to my knowledge, are only found at Harris Teeter and a healthy food store. And sometimes healthy food store has some that Harris Teeter may not have. So between those two stores, if we can't find one, because those will be our spices of preference, then we may have to get them online. So they definitely have some good options. You're gonna wanna make sure that you check them out as well, especially if you're on the more health conscious side of things. So with that being said, those are the main five places that we shop, but I have two honorable mentions as well. One is the Old Tommy Meat Market, also on Palmetto. If I'm going to grill steaks, nine times out of 10, this is where I'm going. This is gonna be your local butcher shop. And to my knowledge, it's the only place in town where you can get Wagyu beef. So if you're looking for that, I didn't go inside and get footage, but that is the old timey meat market on Palmetto. And lastly is the Indian and Asian supermarket. The Indian Asian supermarket is also on Palmetto, but on the east side of Five Points. And as I've stated in a previous video, we make a lot of Indian inspired dishes at our house. And this store offers options that you just really can't get anywhere else. So also shop there for random things. If you needed fenugreek or cumin seed or something like that, then you may go there. They've got these chickpea chips that I've actually mentioned in the previous video, but I got a butter chicken burrito recipe 
from YouTube. And this wasn't called for in that recipe, but I found it over there and I add them in. I'll get those chickpea chips and right before you roll the burrito, you add those in. That's the only place you're gonna be able to get those in town and it's really good. So that's also a place that I just wanted to highlight that you may wanna be aware of. Because again, the purpose of these videos is to bring you real practical information, whether it be in the home buying or selling process or just in the day-to-day -day life in this community once you actually get here and what's more practical than where you do your grocery shopping. So these are the places that we shop. I'd love to hear where you like to shop and why. Hopefully you find this video informative. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. That simple gesture really helps us out a whole lot. We really do appreciate it. And in the meantime, I look forward to seeing y'all around town. Y'all take care. God willing, we'll see you in the next video.